go to uh, Andy, who's a Spurs fan. Andy? Andy? Hello, you all right? Hello, right. Andy, how are you? All right, Andy. Yeah, not the bad shots. Yeah, good, matey. Go on. What do you want to say? Uh, well, firstly, can I just make one point before I make my main point? Is that all right? Go, go on, for it, mate. Go on. Well, firstly, I just want to say, anybody invoking a war and all that in this debate, they need to give their head a wobble because they're numpties, basically. Okay. It's got nothing to do with it. All right, go on in. I just want to make that clear. Before I make a point, I think you're going to disagree with but I don't think it's right. I really don't. What? Go on. And the reason I say it is because, to my mind, just in my opinion, international football should be the best of theirs against the best of us for everyone. When you start walling it down with the foreign, like, say, staff, managers, coaches, it's sort of defeating the objects, I think. You know what I mean? But it's still the players versus the players. No, I get, I get that. I totally get that. But it's, it's almost like the FA are positioned in England as football in minnows that, that need, uh, if, you, if you like, outside help, you know, like smaller nations often do when they employ foreign coaches. No, they, they're, like they're, 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 they're getting the best man for the job. I know, I'm just, he's a great coach. I would have loved him at Spurs. But domestic football, international football, I think the difference... It needs to be maintained, otherwise it just feels like they're watering it down, you know? The whole nation versus nation type of thing. That's all it seems to be. It's like, it's defeating the object, you know? It should be the best English coach. And if we, we stand or fall well, on Portugal, that, just, you know? Portugal appointed Roberto Martinez as their manager. Yeah. Yeah. They, so, so they look, they're, they're a great nation with great players. And they, and they thought, well, OK, let's get Roberto Martinez in because we, we think he can win. They didn't care. No, I see, I see your point, and I, I, I do understand where you're coming from, but it's just it, it just sort of rankles with me that it's just defeating the objects. I, like I couldn't see, I couldn't see a Brazil, for example, or, or, or even say Brazil Germany. tried to get Carlo Ancelotti. They couldn't get him. Yeah, He's tried. Italian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make he didn't want to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Brazil did try. Right. They, they've tried to get no, a foreign manager. Right. They did, but I can't. I just can't escape the feeling that it's just it, it's just watering down the whole. The whole purpose of international football, like, but where that, does it the, end? The, the, that's you, you. Then you have to. Have, you've got a problem, Andy, with the FIFA. Yeah, my. You know, my your, your problems. Your probably shouldn't. Your problem shouldn't be. I mean, look, we've seen Declan Rice and and Jack Grealish put the shirt on of the Republic before they yeah, they, oh, they yeah, yeah. you know, and those laws were allowed that they could actually represent them because it wasn't an official game and therefore the under-21s or whatever it was at that time, not official, they could then represent England. But, but not I, see, I think the difference between that is... Uh, sorry to interrupt. Oh. Uh, I just feel like the difference is that if you've got a, they've got that familial link there, there is there is a reason why they're playing for England through their family. Right? So you can understand that. But when you're taking someone who's got no link to, to the, the country that they're taking over... I don't just say that for England, but for any nation. Mm, it, 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 it bothers you more than it bothers me, Andy. It, it doesn't bother me one little bit. It just I, doesn't I, I bother me. Like if you look if you look through all the international teams yep. that have taken four managers, mm. it's almost yeah. always exclusively teams without that culture, that history, that ingrained history of and football. That, and that's a that sad indictment on, on the on, on us as a nation. We we've got to own that. You're absolutely right to make that point, and we all know it. We the fact that England has not got a coach that we believe is good enough, and the truth is that They're is available. the truth. There are English <clears throat> managers that are good enough. They're not available. No, but they're good enough to. But even if they're available, they're still not. They're still not better than Tuchel. No, they're not. And that's the sad indictment. And that's where Andy's right. And that's where I think we've got to look at ourselves as a nation, saying we can't in in 15 years' time. Are we going to be in a situation where we're employing the best Spanish manager? That, that can't happen either. That, we've got to look at ourselves. But right here, right now, I'm taking it. Mm. Okay. All right, Andy, thanks for calling. Let's go to Daniel. He's a West Ham fan. Dan? Hello, lads. How are you doing? Right, I'm all right, mate. You? Yeah, not too bad. I've, um, I don't know if you remember me. I rang up a few weeks ago and uh, couldn't pre- pronounce the old West Ham manager's names. Go on, <laughs> yeah. that day. I do remember. Right, but, uh, great show as always. Cheers, Danny. Um, well, what I was going to say was, you know, I've got a problem with Tuchel being there. You, you know, I think he'll do it right. But I would have liked to have seen Eddie Howe be given a chance because I think if English, English managers aren't given a chance, how are we going to know if they're going to succeed? 
Do you know what I mean? It's like, did you honestly believe Southgate would do as well as what he did when he became no. England? No, no. I, I but, but, didn't. yeah, but we wasn't in we wasn't in the, the state that we're in now. If you remember rightly, when Gareth Southgate took over, it, the, the, it was an absolute show, wasn't it? I mean, it was a shambles. Oh, a hundred percent. And but we're I, not in that I, position now. We're in a great position with the squad of players that we've got. There's confidence I, I, behind the team. Yeah, no, no, no. It's, a, di- it's a different kettle of fish that you're taking over. Well, I think Eddie Howe's proved himself well enough and at Bournemouth, at Newcastle, that I, I honestly believe he could take that step up. Yeah, he could, but really he's not know. as good as Thomas Tuchel. No, he's not, but then, you know, we're not going to have English managers like, I think it was Scott Minto was saying earlier about the amount that's paid to get a, a licence to, to do the FIFA badge. Yeah, it's like four, four or five grand. Yeah, yeah, and, and one badge was nine grand, mm. whereas in Ger- Germany... It's 550 euros, and I think we're just pricing ourselves out of getting good English managers. There's no, there's no incentives, there's no way in. And I think, <laughs> but, but I've had this start. discussion before, Dan. And, and, and look, Cundy's saying it like I, I remember that I've done my coaching badges, it's expensive, and, yeah. I'm, I'm in a, and I'm in a good position, you know, I've earned a few quid in, in my life, I could afford it. But there were yeah. people saying, you know, that I've done a coaching B badge with, I said, You're going to do the A license, they said, No, I can't afford it. Who are good coaches. So, you know, that is a problem. It's a massive problem. And that's something the FA need to look at going forward, moving forward at St George's Park and throughout grassroots football. But yeah, talking that's... about the National England team, right now, to win a tournament, we've got the best man in charge. Uh, yeah, I, you know, if he does well, good luck to him. I'm not going to stop supporting him because of it, you, you know. Um, I'll, I'll give him my full backing. But I would have just liked to have seen Eddie Howe to be saying that English managers but, Dan, but Daniel, like I think I think what we've also got to, to 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 remind ourselves. I mean, Newcastle fans listening to this saying, "What makes you think he wants that job right now?" He's at Newcastle; they're in a great position yeah. themselves. He's done a, a, a remarkable job. He's had a good start to the season. He, there's no guarantees that Eddie and they said they'd spoken to ten candidates. So there there is a yeah. chance that he may well have been one of those, and there is a chance that he may have said, "You know what." Maybe one day, but not right now. So I think that we need to give Eddie Howe a little bit of credit and saying that, and Newcastle saying that, not it might not be for him. There might be a day. Do you know what, Dan? It would not surprise me one little bit in the not too distant future that Eddie Howe does become England manager if he carries on doing what he's doing. But right here, right now, it's not. It's the right man, but not the right time. Yeah, no, no, no. I was wondering. That's why. Do you think he got the eighteen-month contract? So that, you know, maybe they could work with Eddie Howe and, you know, and look at... Like, they're not the looking at Eddie no, Howe. No, no, one, no one thinks like, like that. No one thinks like that. No, they gave him an 18 month contract because that's what takes him after the, U, uh, yeah, the World yeah, Cup. Yeah, not, no one thinks that's like that. That's it. That's yeah. his job. Win the World Cup. Yeah. yeah. Or get damn that, close to it. But you don't think they work like Brighton? They've always got a plan B or someone lined up or... Yeah, but they're not, they not, not now. They're not... They're, they've, had, they've had their brains... Their brain space has been absolutely occupied. If you'd heard them speak in the presser, their brain space has been occupied. He signed this contract, Tuchel, a week ago. He signed it last Tuesday. So it was over a yeah. week ago now. So that contract was done. That's why, if you if you look back at Lee Carsley's pressers afterwards, he was under a little bit of pressure. <laughs> and now you can see why he was saying... I'm not the man. You need someone with, that's won medals, a world-class manager. He he would have known almost certainly that Tuchel's got the job. And he, I think looking back now, I, I think he was put in an incredibly difficult position to deal with the world's I'm media. Mm. All right, Dan, top man, mate. I appreciate you. Yeah, All right, mate. Uh, let's go. To, can I go to Steve? He's a Berry fan. Steve? Hi, right, steve How's it going? All right, Steve. How are you? Um, yeah, not bad. First of all... Um, I would like to point out anybody who thinks it's to do with the, the wars. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I don't. I'm not against that. Um, I mean, you are against that. Gayson said that he'd give you the best. Preferably, he'd give it to an England guy. Now, my point out. I've got a few points. First point is every England manager who grows abroad, the, the, the likes of Moyes after after he, he, he come out of United yeah. job, he went abroad. He did yeah. well. McLaren did well in in, in Holland. Um, okay. Shouldn't did well in Switzerland. Any England manager who goes abroad does well. Okay, but McLaren's been the England manager. He's an absolute night. It was a shambles. Yeah, no, but prior, prior to him getting England job, he was no higher than Scout Southgate. Yeah, 
because all the, all the good managers in this country who w- could do a good job. Now, at the end of the day, my next point is, would, would Tuchel do the job for the same amount of money as what Southgate was getting? I don't think he would. Every foreign manager, we've had to dip into our pockets and pay, pay them a premium amount to come and do the job. Well, we don't and know what Gareth right. Southgate was earning. If we, if we say, say, say just, just say for argument's sake, Gareth Southgate got three million a year. Just, just say, and we said to Tuchel, right, Tuchel, come here. The job pays three million pound a year. You win anything, you, you double it. Okay, but away. why should, but why, why should, why should he take the job if he, if he feels his value is five million a year? Because at the end of the day, he's only coming for the money. No, he's not. He's coming to the he's opportunity to manage England. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, he was on ten million pound. He was on ten million pound at Bayern Munich. He's taking the pay cut. Take a pay cut. Half his wages. Yeah, he's taking the pay cut. Mate. We've got enough good managers in this country. Who? To do the job. Who? Gary O'Neill. Gary O'Neill. Gary O'Neill has got one point at Wolves. He went to it. Wait, wait, hold on. He went to Birmingham and he did a uh, Bournemouth and did a wonderful job. <laughs> then he took over when um, the foreign geezer went went down. Steve. And he did a, he did a brilliant job last year. Steve, Steve, yeah. Steve, I've just, just got to clarify. That, uh, Steve, Steve, I just need to clarify. Gareth Southgate was on five million pound a year. So, Steve, well, Steve, he was, Steve. Very, he was very important. That he was very important. He was on less. But Steve, what is your what is your beef here? I can't. I have got a beef. I have got a beef. I got a beef. Well, okay, why have you, you phoned you us up? Why have you phoned us? You keep on saying you keep on saying he's the best man for the job. He's not. They, they get these jobs because they do well. They, they do well in, in clubs abroad. Okay. They come here. Hold on, uh, hold on. Oh, can I just read this out, Steve? Right. <clears throat> Thomas Tuchel's yeah. honours. Right. You tell me if the English manager's got better honours than this. All right. He's won the world's best club coach. Hold on, shush, Steve. Shush. He's won Champions League, one FIFA Club World Cup. One Bundesliga, one German Cup, one German Cup Winners' Cup, two French League titles, one French League Cup, and two French Super Cups. I, 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 is, there, is, there another, is Gary O'Neill got them on his list? And he was, and he was out of work, and he's been out of work for a while. Why is that? What do you he mean? He left by Munich in the summer. He left he, in, he the summer. in the summer. In the summer, he's he been at. <laughs> Did he leave? Yes. Or did he get sacked? Steve, every, every manager gets st- sacked, Steve. They all get right. sacked. And, and he's no, not there aren't many that don't. He didn't get sacked. He didn't get sacked. There ain't many that don't. Steve, again, I'm going to ask you. You've not, you phoned up. I can't quite work out your beef. What's your beef? You don't I think to... No, you have, Steve, you, you have. He's the best manager of the club. He's not the best manager of the club. Who is? is? Who is? Who is? Who's the best man for the if job right now? Pep's the best man for the job. Who? He won't take it. Who? Pep. Pep. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, no. Okay, fine. Fine. But Pep's not available. Right? right. So now I'm going to rephrase okay. the question. Right? Who's the best man for the job, in brackets, that's available? Well, you go then. So you've got to take somebody out of work. You're going to, you're going to lessen... Uh, all right, okay. Your, your... Okay. And now I'm going to play your game. You clearly, you want to play difficult. Pep, yes, you're right. Pep is the Pep is is a better manager than Tuchel. Who's the next manager you'd have gone for? If I if I would have picked him, I'd have gone for I'd have gone for Klopp. Okay, he's took a job. No, no, Klopp, no, no. He's not. Again, I'm going to free. I'm gonna, he's not available. Who's the next one that you'd have gone for in brackets? That's that you could get. What do you mean if you, what, if you can get them? You know what I mean, Steve. Don't fence with me. You, no, no, Steve, Steve. Steve, you're not stupid, I can tell. Right, come on. You know you can't get Pep. You know you can't get Klopp. Right, we, we've seen Tuchel get the job. Who would you give it to or chase? No, but the thing is, you're, you're, playing, you're turning the argument round so it's your way or no, no way. No, 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 I'm not. I'm giving you all the options. Every option's available to you, Steve. Steve, every option Steve, right now. one minute you want Gary O'Neill to get no, it, next minute you want Pep Guardiola to get it. Steve, you're talking Steve, nonsense. no, no. I'm going to stick with Steve. No, no, we're going to get there. I've got a break. Steve, I've got Steve, a break. Steve, stay, no, stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. Steve, yeah. right. Pep, you can't, we, you can't get Pep right now. Do we agree with that? Yes, okay. Klopp, 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 you can't get it. Steve, who's the next one off, who's the cab, next cab off the rank for Steve the Berry fan? Who is it? I'd have have gone for the lad who left Brighton last year, because he's a bit... 
Yeah, he's just plucking. He's, Steve, he's, he's going down. You know what he's doing? He's plucking back. He's plucking names. He, he's, he's talking about how he wanted English managers deser- to get the, the, what, the best jobs, and in his name, the three managers are not English. It's Deserby. 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 Pet and Klopp, who's German. It's Deserby. Let's see. The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday nights from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.